Hey guys, what's up? This is Taiko, and today I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome looking wallpaper like this one. So, let's get started. For this tutorial, I will be using photo merge option from Photoshop 2017. Those who don't know what is photo merge, you can take a look from this link. So I have took all the 9 photos using a tripod mount DSLR. And now I will be going to merge them together using this, 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 this photo merge option. Okay. Now pick all your images that you took and click on ok uh, like this now photoshop will process it and make it like something like this before further editing you should save the images which is this and then merge it together or flatten it flatten 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 it after this i will be using clone brush tool to clone the area uh, on the edges and make it a whole big image complete the like this one Okay, now it's a big image, yeah. and then I'm gonna crop it. After cropping, uh, I will be doing some more retouching. As you can see, there are some leftover. Now for retouching, I will be using that code dam clone brush. Yeah, speed up. Run, Barry, run. It's done. Yeah. Now save your image. To desktop or wherever you think necessary. After that, open camera and do some major shape shifting of this image. For this image, I will be giving it a grungy look. For that, I'll be removing all the highlights and giving it a more of a dark dark contrast something like this and then it a lot of clarity those people who do know snapseed app from google then this panel is for tonal contrast as you can see it's still not that good so i'll be doing some lens correction and the lens correction is a pretty important stuff as you can see the effect of this
so after all the adjustments click on ok and let it save and now crop it ok now it's still not complete because it's not in a widescreen ratio so I will be making it a widescreen ratio by choosing 16 by 9 ratio and then cropping it well after cropping save the image as a jpeg image and then set it as a wallpaper for your desktop for more tutorials like this please do subscribe my channel and share it if you think it's good enough and yes that's all for today goodbye see ya later